Two breaded pork tenderloins. Thanks, Joe. On the house, Paul. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. What is this? Breaded pork tenderloin? Come on, bro. This is an Indiana staple. It's also the only sandwich that could double as its home plate. Look at the size <laughs> of that thing. Yeah. Man, all the big food shows have been gagging to get a piece of this here right gone for years. But the owner just shoots them off. Old school, Midwest. No desire for celebrity, only the work matters. Hmm. You need to stop letting Marcus get under your skin, boy. I mean, he's arrogant, but you're so self-conscious, you'll eventually lose. It's gonna affect everything you do in the court, and then you're never gonna get to the NBA. No, come on. We're only having lunch so you can find out how to get out of this city, right? Uh, look, I I'm sorry, man. Okay. I'd let Only apologize when absolutely necessary. We need more ambition on this team. So what's it like, you know, like, the league? No different to this. Yeah, players are faster, they can jump higher, of course they're the same size. Better hotels. Mm. You wanna know how to get in? Deal with Marcus, you know, like, make sure he doesn't mess up my chances with the right, scouts. Here's an idea. How about you see Marcus as not a rival, but more of a teammate? Why? He's not going to. I mean, like, I grew up in Houston. Okay, I was a Rockets fan, do or die. That, that was my team. You know, it still is deep down. But you, young players, you, you were brought up in the system. I mean, you probably traveled around the country, you know, in camps and tournaments, and, and, and you were probably shuffled around by the AAU. It's, you probably never really had a team, right? The, the Lakers, of course. The Heat. Yeah, I'm not talking about respect. I'm talking about love. Okay, a love that charges you, feeds you, and that is the difference between a player and a legend. Show them that answer that you're not just passing through. You show them that passion, the, the appreciation, and I promise you, none of the time you spend here will be wasted. What's up? You're Paul Tatum, right? <laughs> yeah. Look at that, man. You still get recognized, and, as and you should. You're AI. Uh, yeah, hey. <sighs> You, you guys, both of you guys are like my favorite player on, on the Mad Ants. <laughs> Mad Ants? You a fan? I'm Zach. Zach Coleman. Guy, guys, it's the Mad Ants! It's the Mad Ants! Mad Ants! I told you it was them! The Mad Ants? <laughs> yeah, man. Are, are you kidding? I mean, we watch every single game. This season has been so freaking exciting, dude. It's so awesome to know you guys are definitely going whoa, all whoa, the way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, let's just slow it down. I mean, it's long you're, season. You're right, Mr. Tatum. You know, one game at a time, but man, AI... I've seen you be under way worse pressure, and you always come through. When you hit that baseline jumper with two seconds left to send it to OT in that tourney game you played, man, legendary. Ice water in your veins. That's <laughs> cute, man. Speaking of which, you guys good? You need a refill? It's on me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So you, you know about me. You know how I deal, huh? Honestly? If, if I can speak honestly. <laughs> Sounds like you can. I grew up in this town my whole life. But I feel like I know this world, man. I know the game. Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. But I consider myself like a social media maven. I, I know how silly that sounds coming out of my mouth, but I'm serious, dude. Look. Let me see this, man. Oh, look, you got 50,000 followers? Yo, wh what did you say you did? 51.4, but everything. Dude, ad campaigns, I boost the social media presence of all these local businesses. Right now, I'm driving people to the Wayne Grove. I'm helping this small coffee shop down by the river. They're outselling even the big guys by the courthouse, dude. But even if they weren't blowing up, I would make sure they were blowing up. But sometimes, it's just great to support a product that you actually believe in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You know, a, a coffee refill would be good. About I'm really close to this business being big enough to quit this job, but... Enough about me. What about you guys? I mean, the Mad Ants and you, AI, you guys don't have a social media presence. Nothing comes up. I'm, you know, I'm been a little busy playing basketball. Don't really I, have I'm not time saying that you show. should worry about it, but maybe I should be worrying about it, man. Ever since you threw down that sick dunk on Corey Harris in Shanghai, you've been a social media ghost. I mean, do you have a social media manager? Because I could be your social media manager. <laughs> Or just your regular manager, if you don't have uh, one of those. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, I don't, but um, thank you, though. Appreciate hey, that. Cool, yeah. cool. All right. Think about it. Do I still think about it? Yeah, of course I still think about getting that mid-season call to be the 12th man. And I'm always going to think about it. Well, maybe I'll get that one last ride. But you wanted advice. Be here. Now. Don't worry about what's coming. You're good to fall away, she'll pay you back in full. <laughs> Let the 
coach <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, you saw them at the diner. Okay, we are kings around here. And yeah, sure, everyone in the NBA is a king too, but here it's, it's, it's different. You know, it, it's like your family's filling the stands in the high school gym. It's just a couple of farm boys playing one on one. Hey, what do you say to a couple of kings taking on the common folk in the game against the barn door? Hey, y'all need two more? Yeah, come on. Yeah, come on. <laughs> it's on, brother. Now you see we got us a nice little pickup game. Me and me and Paul Tatum, we gonna go take it on with a couple of the young bucks, the young local bucks in uh in in Fort Wayne. And I love this part. Like this is one of the things where you looked at and I clearly forgot about it the first time I played. It's been a while since I played through the story the first time. But you look at it and say, Man, I kinda wish they did have little areas like this in two K, you know, even on on a slight rotation. I mean, they already got this little court built. Uh, for two on two, and I complain a lot about two on two. I complain a lot mainly because the simple fact is to make it take it rule in two on two. Um, but I look at it like this if you don't like it, you know, you just don't play it. So I, I usually choose not to play it. Uh, that's for the people who like to play it, um, and more power to them. But it would have been great if they had little areas like this where you can kind of just, um, and it, we might see that in 2K20. Little matchmaking areas like this, farmland backgrounds, just something that feels a little bit different. Uh, just feels a little bit more, you know, not neighborhood oriented. Feels a little more engaging. You can see, like, look at the background. You know, like, you could have simply just had enough to see of this court. But it's got a nice little decent blue lit backgrounds and grass for miles. The grass ain't really all that detailed or nothing like that, but it really doesn't matter. You know, you see the road behind you. Little things like that is pretty cool. You know, it felt good playing this game, so I kind of wanted to showcase this game of, of uh, two on two. Uh, me and one young buck going against uh, Paul Tabe and another young buck. And if I'm correct, I, I could have went in the menus to see what their names was to see if they if they gave them names because Suke usually does do some some pretty interesting things like that and be funny what the names of these cats would have been probably something related to one of the developers uh, one of the people on the dev team or one of the people in the publishing department or or even the children of of, of one of the creators of this product that'd have been pretty cool but. As you see, I'm going to just give Paul Tatum this work. You know, he, he said, hey, let's go out here and play a pickup with a couple of young bucks, man. Play a couple of pickup games with the fans. And, like, that's what I like about this. I think that was one of my most enjoyable parts of the story, mainly just looking forward to I was kind of hoping that, we, you know, we would get more moments like this, just looking forward to kind of, like, joshing around, playing, playing a couple of pickup games with fans, uh, mainly because they really did focus on how you should get to, you know, throughout the story, they'll focus on a lot about how you should get to know the environment, get to know the city, get to know the people. And so it'd be cool if coming in 2K20, they do do something similar to this when it comes down to the story, kind of highlighting a little more of the factor, playing some recreational pickup games. And I know for a lot of people that stuff like this doesn't matter. And, and that's all well and cool. Stuff like this isn't for everybody. But it'd be great to have things like this mainly because it does open it up to just seeing something a little bit different, seeing something a little more new and could be a little more fun. So I gave I tried to give Paul Tatum that work when it came down to it. I tried to I started score trying to score from everywhere, try to get some steals off of him. Uh, try to try to play him in the post. He tried me. He tried me. So he pulled up on me like I was nobody. I was like, "Come on, Paul, man. You know me, man. You know me. You know my game too real, man. I'm, I carry the team so far. After that one game, you already see I'm gonna carry the team for the season, you know. But let me know how you feel, or if you played this part of the story, let me know how you felt about it. Was this, you know, was that a pretty cool experience for you? Did you enjoy it? Have fun with it and everything like that. Would you like to see more stuff like that going into future 2K products? I mean, I already know everybody just want for real, for real, multiple parks. And I and I and I agree with y'all on that one. You know, it'd be good to have different environments to go to. Um, it'd also be good to have more of a ranking based system. But this is what I did enjoy. Um, I think my this was my favorite part of the story. This this had to be because it was just a little random pickup game that meant nothing. 
And sometimes that's that's what matters. You just playing some some little something something that means a little nothing nothing, and you're just doing it for the fun of it. Like when I hop on the game, that's that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to have a little fun. So as you can see, Paul uh, Paul and them scored one point, and that was it. I wasn't about to let them score anymore. He wasn't supposed to score that one. So I'm about to give Paul these moves right here. Show him these dribble moves, combo. Uh, come on now, I'm gonna let you up. to be there the whole time. Wow, oh, this is so bogus. We already have three road games coming up. Now we got to deal with this? What's going on? Uh, directions to the Indiana State Fair. Charity booth again. Coach says we got to take shifts, man, in the meet and greet. Says we're with the Pacers group. Dude, we'll be lucky to get near the cheerleading section. They do this every year. The Pacers get a choice position between the Ferris wheel and the Gravitron. They stick us at the end of the corn maze. I mean, it could be fun. You know, meet with some local fans, make some new ones. On my time in Shanghai, I never even left my apartment. Uh, fairgrounds are nowhere near Shanghai, man. <laughs> no. No fried chocolate brownies in China. Hey, who are you and what have you done with AI? State fair, right, cuz? Isn't this fun? This is so fun. Oh, I'm having the best time. All right, step right up and get your picture taken with the Mad Ants. The Mad Ants, right here. <sighs> okay. Don't worry, guys. Stay positive. We'll get some takers. We'll get some takers. Anybody want a picture with the mad ass? No? Okay, that's not cool. <gasps> okay, be quiet. I think I hear somebody in the corn stalks. Oh, no, it's just a nest of rabbits, Coach. I've been fooled twice already. Rabbits? Really? How'd they find their way out of the maze? Hey, you know what? You're starting to bum me out with that negative attitude, AI. I think you gotta look on the bright side. We're all having fun here. Speaking of which, Coach, uh, no one's come out of that maze for like two hours. Is there a point we should be like, Worry? Oh, people can get out of there. I mean, I was stuck in there one time for 24, 48 hours, but eventually I ate my way out of there. You can eat as much corn as you want. That's the cool thing. Hey, maybe that's something we could all do. We could all go in there. It's like a team building exercise, right? Wouldn't that be fun? Where, where's Howie and Paul? Uh, I think they went up front to see how much long until the fair was over. Until the fair's over? Until the fair's over? Okay, now listen up! I'm sick and tired of people asking when the fair is going to be over. We're all here to have fun. I'm having a great time. We should all be having a great time. <laughs> Sorry. Shouldn't have yelled. <laughs> Should not have yelled. Hey, AI, here come some people. All right, put your smiles on. Let's get some pictures. Go on, you're up. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, sir. Sorry I yelled at you. Ooh, ooh, hey, they said that there was a deep fried butter booth around here. Oh, yeah, I'm here. Uh, hey, guys, did you uh, want a picture? Uh, yes. Oh, my God, that'd right. be so amazing. Let's do it. Thank you. Awesome. Here, uh, here let's bring it in. Come on. Yeah, like from over there would oh, be really great. Oh, Thanks. Just, this just is you my guys. good side. Wait, the other side. Okay. <laughs> Hashtag coinbase. Hashtag grateful. <laughs> Got it. Oh, my God, thank you. <laughs> oh, don't use the filter. That makes my face look like old carpet. Oh, that's not the filter. Oh. Yeah, you're <laughs> Yeah, real funny. I'm not talking to anyone for the rest of the day. Oh, come on, man. Look at it like this. <laughs> if we lose tomorrow, it'll only be the second most embarrassing thing to happen to you this week. Really, coach? <laughs> I'm just joking. Yeah, I need to go to the bathroom. Which one are you going on? Core maze. The corn maze is not a bathroom. A little help there, big fella? Wow. Nice throw. Crisp chest pass. Old school. I like that. I like that. Now, feels like you might have the skills for a little ball. No, man, I'm good. I know you're good. I can tell you have the look of a winner. What I'm asking you to do is prove it now and sink some shots. What do you say? Uh, no, man, I'm good. I got somewhere to be. Uh, next time, though. All right, I'm gonna keep my five bucks for now. Okay, 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 look. I can tell you're a man of uncommon intelligence and savvy, so for you, my best deal. Check it out. Three dollars, four balls. Thank you, man. Oh, come on, man, get a prize. The girl you're trying to impress here. <laughs> you heard him. Impress me. Uh-oh, <laughs> the gauntlet is thrown. You, uh, you want me to sing some shots, huh? Uh, mainly I'm just trying to score that stuffed elephant that's hanging on that back wall there. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. You sure it's, uh, not the green one? I mean, I know it's smaller, but I don't know. Something about those eyes. Okay. Uh, I kind of see it. There's something there. An underdog. Let's get it. 
Okay, great. You got to sink four shots in a row twice to get that one. Oh. Oh, such a, such a tall order. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I'd say y'all were working me from both sides. <laughs> the shot clock's ticking. Let's both shoot. When we shoot together, then uh, she gets a green one. Does that work for you? In the name of love, here we go. All right, all right. One down for the lady. <clears throat> Tough luck. Not as easy as it looks. Wow, you ain't playing. Another make for the lady. <laughs> Aw, I thought you had that one. Gentlemen falling behind here. <laughs> and she's not letting up. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Nerves get you on that one? <laughs> Doesn't appear to be your game, sir. <laughs> Well, man, might as well get this over with. You said it. C could you just, <laughs> could you just back up a bit, please? Just, just doing my job. <sighs> <sighs> ah, tough luck, boss. A nail biter. But in the end, a loss is a loss. Open for another go? Nah, that's it, man. I know when I'm beat. You got a real shot. I'm impressed. And I don't know what happened to me. And it's my job to make those. Man, I must have been nervous. I'm thinking less about the nerves and more about the elbow flare on your release. Oh, okay, so you are a ringer then. I mean, let's just say I'm a firm believer in the fundamentals. All right, see, that sounds like something that only a player would say. So what's the real resume here? Huh? <laughs> uh, I was a starter in high school and bench warmer in college, which coincidentally is also the name of my still unwritten memoir. <laughs> what about you? What's uh, making the shots a part of my job thing? I'm a mad ant. It's the uh, local basketball team in the G League. Yeah, no, I, I'm aware of them. I've been to a couple games. I just, um, yeah, I don't recall reading about how the ants were signing a player with frayed nerves, though. <laughs> okay, shots fired. <laughs> wow, throwing shade at a total stranger on day one. Okay, I see you. <laughs> um... My friends and enemies call me Nikki. AI, nice to meet you. Yeah. Whoa, 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 where have you been, Smiler, huh? <sighs> Playing carnival games? Yeah, everyone was saying you needed some alone time after Coach cut through your paper-thin skin. Oh, uh, their words. All right, for your information, gentlemen, you were looking at a man who has just secured a date. Oh, oh. no! With a carny? No, not with... Oh, you, you don't want to mess with that, man. They're transients. Squatters and they know how to work the fringes of the law. You can't get rid of them. Right, I promise me. one of these days you're gonna make a joke worth laughing at, Howie. I promise you. I'm gonna shake your hand when you do. Uh, yeah, I don't think it was a joke. Yeah, but let's just call it a cautionary tale. Hey, Zach. It, it's Zach, right? Yeah. AI. Hey, how you doing, man? Dude. Good to see you. So right after you left, I got to thinking, what if I could cut together some clips from some of your sickest plays over the last couple years and make a sizzle reel? Now there's not a whole lot online, but I was able to track some down. What do you think? Oh. Man, where did you find all this? Man, I just told you I made it. Wait, you made this just since we met at lunch? Yeah, it doesn't take long. Rip some clips, editing software, add some music, done. And you can put all this on social media? I can make this set fire to social media, like crash sites. Yeah, maybe not actually do that, you know. I have this problem with overpromising. I'm trying to catch myself when I start to do it. But we're doing pretty good so far, man. 1,500 retweets already. People are taking notice. We're gonna make them take notice, dude. You give me a couple days? Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, would you like to be my new social media rep? Full time? I mean, don't get ahead of yourself. Also, I can't get ahead of myself since I can't really afford full time, so... Hey, no worries. I'm gonna be working all the time anyway. All right, well, come to the game tomorrow then. I will be there. And maybe try and hit some stuff to help me diversify the reel, like assists. Maybe a triple-double? I'll see what I can do. All right. <laughs> all right, baby. Hey. Come to the corn maze with me. 
Yeah, I hear it's a totally different experience. If you go through the exit and the corn's kind of looking away from you. How young? It's very, very awesome. Come on. Tay-Tay, you come too. You can come. Oh, he did not just call me Tay-Tay. Yo, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button in the center. If you like that video, check this one out on the left. If you're looking for something a little bit different, check this one out on the right. We're doing all games all the time. We're always going to be trying to put something new. Let me know how you feel down in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.